Good morning, everyone. Our today's class we will discuss about problems and solution on this kind return. So, stock L and M have yielded the following returns for the past two years. So, information they have given years return percentage. Okay. So now in year column they have given uh, 1995 and 1996. In return of L they have given 12 and 18. In percentage for M they have given 14 and 12. A. What is the expected return on portfolio made up of 60% of L and 40% of M? B. Find out the standard deviation of each stock. C. What is the covariance and coefficient of correlation between stock L and M? D. What is the portfolio risk of a portfolio made up of 60% of L and 40% of M? So now solution, we have to calculate first one that is A, expected rate of return is equal to summation of R divided by N, where summation of R is equal to total of return, N is equal to number of observation. Next, uh, for both the stock we have to calculate. Uh, for first one, returns of stock L is equal to 12 plus 18 divided by 2, 12 plus 18 divided by 2 is equal to 15 return of stock m that is 14 plus 12 divided by 2 is equal to 13. So now portfolio return is equal to summation of x1 into r1 where x1 being the proportion held by each security which includes 60% of l and 40% of m is equal to 0 0.6 that is 60% plus 15 that is this value. Okay. So now uh, plus 0 0.4 is nothing but 40 percent into uh, this 13 uh, returns of stock m that is this value 13 if we uh, calculate this 9 plus 5.2 it will come 14.2 so now we have calculated a1 so like that we have to calculate b1 standard deviation of each stock we have to calculate a standard deviation of stock l and a standard deviation of uh, stock M. Okay, so now we are calculating standard deviation of stock L. So standard deviation of stock L is equal to uh, square root of summation uh, into bracket R1 minus R1 bar whole square divided by N. So now uh, we have to put values 12 minus 15 plus 18 minus 15. So 12 minus 15 is nothing but what? This value 12 and 18. So 15 is nothing but this stock. Uh, return of L. So this 15. So we have considered here plus 18 minus 15 divided by 2. So 18 is nothing but what? This value 18 minus 15 is this value. Okay. Stock L uh, whole square divided by N. So if we calculate this value, so it comes to how much? It comes to uh, standard deviation L is equal to 3. So now uh, like that we have to calculate the standard deviation uh, of a stock M we have to calculate square root of summation of R2 minus R bar 2 whole square divided by N. So actually this because of this font so N is came here we have to write below this here also we have to write below and here also we have to write below okay. So now uh, square root of 14 minus 13 plus 12 minus 13 14 is nothing but what here okay 14 as well as 12 we have to take here 14, 12, this 13, 13, the, uh, we, are, we are taking it from this value. Okay. So now if we uh, uh, divide it by 2, so answer will come standard deviation m is equal to 1. Okay. We have calculated both the standard deviation of each stock. That is 3 for standard deviation L stock, uh, 1 for standard deviation m stock. See the covariance between stock L and m. So covariance L, L and M is equal to summation of uh, R1 minus R bar 1 into Rm minus R, R bar M divided by N. So if we put value minus 3 plus minus 3 divided by 2 is equal to minus 6 divided by 2 is equal to minus 3. Okay. So now uh, it is nothing but covariance of L and M. Now, correlation coefficient is R is equal to covariance L M 
divided by standard deviation L uh, into standard deviation M. So covariance LM is minus 3 divided by standard deviation L into standard deviation M is 3 into 1. So it comes minus 1. So now we have calculated C1. So like that D we have to calculate. Let us a uh, question is what is the portfolio risk of portfolio made up of 60% of L and 40% of uh, M. So we have to calculate this one. Portfolio risk standard deviation uh, P is equal to square root of x1 whole square into standard deviation 1 whole square plus x2 whole square standard deviation 2 whole square plus 2x1 into x2 into bracket r12 into standard deviation 1 into standard deviation 2. So we have to put all the values. So x1 uh, whole square that is 0 0.6 whole square that is 60 percent that is 0 0.6 whole square into 9 plus some uh, 0 0.4 that is 40 percent whole square into 1 plus 2x in 2 into 0 0.6 into 0 0.4 into 3 into 1 into minus 1. So if we simplify it value will come 3.24 plus 0 0.16 plus into bracket minus 1.44 okay is equal to square root of 1.96 if we calculate it it comes 1.4 so this is the answer for d1 thank you